What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kels here and we have another video. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. And if you're wondering what you're gonna see on this here channel, let me tell you. You're gonna see fashion, luxury, travel, lifestyle, and all around joy. Why? Because joy is life and life is living and that is what we plan to do. Okay. All right, friends, welcome, welcome. I am doing a new series called Dress Your Body. I'm super excited. I've wanted to do something like this for a while and I just have it and I'm like, now's the time. There's no time like the present. So in the series, Dress Your Body, I'm gonna go over different body types and what the best pieces are for those bodies to really heighten them, to show them in the best light, to maybe hide the things you wanna hide. And just a disclaimer, not every single person's body is gonna fit into these body types because they are very like cut and dry, right? And nothing but our bodies are cut and dry. <laughs> so. Please keep in mind that maybe you feel like you're one or two of these. Maybe you feel like, oh, you were this, but maybe you're kind of this now. That's okay and that's valid. The idea is to just think about your body, what it looks like, and get these ideas from the different videos to know how to dress your specific body appropriately. That's going to make you feel good. That's going to make you feel sexy and strong and like you can run the world. So let's get into it. First, let me say, if you see me looking down, it's because I have notes. <laughs> Gotta get that disclaimer. And the first body type we're gonna focus on today is the pear shape. The pear shape. The pear shape body type is a smaller upper body, like smaller in the shoulders and in the bust, and then into wider hips. So imagine a pear, right? Pear smaller up here. And then I'm not doing this right with my hands. And then it gets wider at the hip. So it's like this, right? Okay, are you following me? Okay, I hope you're following me. And obviously I'll, I'll put up some examples. Now, if you're a pear-shaped body where you're like, I got hips and thighs and butt and thighs and legs, but I ain't got no boobies. Um, That's great. That's fantastic. That's your body. Love that for you. Here are some of the things that you're gonna to want to wear to dress your body. Now, I'm not gonna hold you here for a long time, but a good time, straight to the point. Okay, ready? Here's the list. Now, for each body type of the series, I have 10 um, little notes. <laughs> what, what am I saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? 10 little things, uh, items, 10 items of like to wear, not to wear kind of thing. So for pair, first things first, embellished hemlines. Ooh, we loved, look, we loved an embellished, this dress, which is funny, cause this is not um, on the list, but I get, sorry, I'm like looking over there cause all of a sudden the, the sun went away. Um, <laughs> but I think this would be great for someone with a pair if they wanted to hide their hips because it's a like a baby doll style where it's nice and buttoned up it has a strong shoulder and it's like goes kind of it's not a length it kind of drops almost like a baby doll and so it kind of hides the hips i like it because it's short and has a dramatic shoulder but we're not talking about that we're talking... <laughs> will this series be all over the place stay tuned we want embellished hemlines for a pear shape, okay? You're taking notes if this is maybe partly you. We want an open back. Love an open back. Because you know you're small up top, so you, got, you show that luxurious back, especially if it's a low back, an open back. You know what that does, you get a little sense of feel, a little va va voom. Yes, show the back, darling. Um, dramatic sleeves, oh, look at that before I, and I just wrote, I not just wrote them, I wrote this list and I didn't, I forgot that I put dramatic sleeves because the dramatic sleeves offsets the bottom half. So you like balance out, you know, you're like, am I a butterfly? <sighs> I love this dress. I think this dress is Shop Akira or somebody like that. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, the dramatic sleeves helps kind of pull the eye up and, and gives you a like, Oh, like a more balancing effect. 
we have belted styles. Now I think, I love a belt for almost every person because it's gonna really accentuate the waist. If you really wanna accentuate the hips, you bring in the waist and your whips go pa down, okay? Cause some people, and there are two types of people, and both people are great and fantastic and we love them. The people that wanna hide the hips and the people that wanna show off the hips. Whoever you are, there are styles in here for you, okay? All right, here we go. A-line. I love an A-line almost on every single person on this earth because the A-line, again, it's like kind of, you know, it's like fitted, fitted lightly because it's not going to suck onto you, right? <laughs> As I grab myself. Um, it's fitted and then it goes out into an A, which is why, that's why it's called an A-line because it goes out like that. I love an A-line because that does kind of, it doesn't accentuate the hips. It does mask them a bit, but the A-line looks good on you because you got the hips that will support that a um and it'll look it doesn't look like you're trying to pull attention towards you but it doesn't also look like you're just trying to put on baggy clothes and hide does that make sense it's like the perfect dress for you um a line i feel like it's a perfect dress for almost every single body type when i was a, a tiny a teensy tiny girl i loved an a line because i was like well i, I didn't have <laughs> hips really so I would have an A line. It would give me a little bit more, you know, volume and body at the bottom, um, especially if I wore it like a like more fitted shirt, the little room, um, and then the A line would give me a little room, and so it looks a little bit more like a um, hourglass, which is what I wanted. Let's move on. Um, a oh, I was like, what to say, Jesus? <laughs> A hemline that hits below the knee. I love a hemline that, hits, like, if it hits right below the knee, and if you're a heel person, that heel, and then it gives you a little extra length. Cut right there. Boot cut or flare. The boot cuts are coming back. The flares are coming back. Here's what's good about the boot cut or the flare. It balances you out. So when you wear the skinny jeans, right? These are your, I'm being dramatic. These are your legs. These are your hips, <laughs> right? When you wear the boot cut, these are your hips, part of your legs, and then the rest of, of and then the boot cut, right? Because it goes out. Well, this is like a bell bottom, but you know what I mean? Like it goes out. And so it balances your hip ratio. So that's the same way with like the big shoulders. It balances the top of the bottom. The boot cut balances your hips with the very, very bottom. So it doesn't, it takes away some of the like volume a little bit from your hips. Let's move on. Oh, a plunging V-neck. You see, when you have a V-neck, right? Where's, where's your eye going right now? It's going right here. I mean, I'm also doing like this. But if I was just, if this was just all skin and the girls were out, you'd be like, oh, okay. Girls are out to say hello. It brings your eyes some brings your eye up a little bit from the hips, so you give the eye somewhere else to look at, whether it be skin or maybe you put lace under it or something like that. Um, the V neck definitely helps bring the eye up, so you have something else to kind of divide your focus between. Next is a cropped jacket. You know what would be good? Those puffer jackets that are cropped. Because again, it's giving you that like volume. And then if you don't have, a, if it's not a puffer, but it's just a crop jacket, what's good is you don't want the jacket necessarily to be over the hips because it's just going to make it go out and wide. Um, that crop jacket gives you a little extra layers up here. And then depending on what you're wearing on the bottom, you may show off, show off the hips if you want or hide them a little if you don't. Both are okay. And then we're going to outerwear and outerwear at the mid thigh because, well, it's cold and you don't want anything that's going to go down to the floor. Um, but if it cuts you right at the mid thigh, again, it is masking you right in the middle, right? So I hate to say it's like cutting you off, but it kind of is. So it's kind of masking you there if you wear it right at the mid thigh because then you see like the legs. And then when you go up, you just see the, the jacket that you're wearing up more straight like this, or it's curved in depending on if it's like a trench or something like that that's belted. But I think that helps take a little bit of the um, eye 
if it's a solid, let's say it's a solid dark color from here to here, that's one solid color. So your proportions look differently. Color, fit, shape, and all those things matter when you're either enhancing or trying to dehance, is that a word? Or trying to like <laughs> take away from a body part. You know, the holidays are coming up. You're gonna wanna wear something super cute to the holiday party or the, the uh, New Year's Eve party. Uh, new year, new you. Maybe you want to get rid of your clothes and, and find a new look. All this is going to be important when it comes to dressing your body. So let's recap, okay? Things you should be looking for with a uh, pear shape and things you should be looking for with a pear shape. And if some of these you're like, oh, actually, I don't like embellishments, then that's fine. It doesn't mean like rhinestones and glitter, by the way. That can be like rosettes. That can be lace. Like, uh, embellishments just mean it's not just a plain old fabric and nothing else. Um, you know what I love? I love the pussy bow blouses. I have two of them now that you probably saw from my last video that I, I made. And I love those because that adds a little extra drama to an outfit. So to recap, embellished hemlines, open back, a dramatic sleeve, belted styles, <laughs> an A-line, hemline below the knee, boot cut or flare, a plunging V, cropped jacket, or outerwear that hits mid-thigh. Stay tuned for more in this series, dressing different body types. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't mind, are you a pear shape? Share, share down below. And if you have any favorite pieces or anything, share them down. Do you agree or disagree? You know what? I'm not the end all be all of anything. No one on the interwebs is. So if you're like, hey, Raquel, I'm a pear shape and this is what works for me, put it down below. Help a fellow sister or brother out. Put it down below. And don't forget to share with a friend because sharing is caring. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.